Well, I'm with David Withers, the Managing Director of Izeki UK, and lovely to see you again. It's, Great it's to amazing how these years roll on and we're still here, and, which, is a, which is a big plus, the fact we're still here. It's true. Yeah. Um, what have you got to show us this, this, this show that's yeah. relatively new? Yeah, well, it's great to be here, back at Saltex again. You know, as you said, it's like Groundhog Day, isn't it? We just seem to keep coming back, but it's lovely to see you as well. Yeah, this is our new electric vehicle. Um, so one of the things we've seen over recent times, as, as I'm sure uh, your, your viewers are, are aware, is that people have been moving towards electric. We're trying to reduce the amount of internal combustion engine use we've got. And so for a lot of people, they're just trying to reduce their fleets to have as few internal combustion engines as they can. They know they can't get rid of them completely at the moment, but how can you minimize that? And what we have here is a road going vehicle with a tipper bed body at the back. So for parks and councils, perfect for that. So yeah. you can drive Open it on spaces. the road, yeah. uh, but also you can get it into parks and, uh, and gardens and, uh, and areas like that. So a lot of interest from the big contractors and from the big councils who are looking to, to go green, as it were. And what sort of battery life have we got here, David? Yeah, you're going to get about 123 kilometres, I think is what we register as, so about 80 odd miles yeah. um, with the axle we've got in this one. This one's a 55 kilometre an hour one. You can get faster and slower ones, depending on the axle uh, that you specify. Uh, but that's a pretty good, that's a day's work. Uh, pretty much for this kind of a vehicle and uh, the nice thing is it is all street legal day one so you can just put a number plate on it and drive it in the same way that you would a car. And what sort of um, impression has it made on the potential customers while you've been here? Yeah, everybody's been really interested in it. Um, I mean, there are other vehicles around, but this one seems to hit like the size and space requirement uh, for what they want. It's got a couple of other features on it as well that I think are, are just good in terms of meeting the customer's unmet needs as they were. You know, the, there are other vehicles you could use, but this one's got some nice little features that, uh, that help out the customer. trying to find out. If you get machine that can do a number of different things. Again, it's people looking at the bottom line, they can saving in other areas. Yeah, and I think for us as well as Izeki, obviously all of our Izeki products are, are diesel still. We are working on electrification of those, but we still want to be in that conversation with people around electrification. Uh, and so that's why we were excited to partner with this company. Uh, they're actually made by a company called Adax, they're a Belgian company. Uh, so we've partnered with them and it just keeps us in that conversation about electrification, moving forwards, getting greener spaces and so on. So uh, it kind of fits with our strategy and uh, ethos as well. Uh, and certainly for a lot of our customers, it seems to be ticking the box. And from a wider perspective of the industry, we've talked about the challenges in the past, David. Um, they're, they're remaining, I would imagine, if not getting greater. How are you coping with those? Well, it's odd. Uh, I think it's fair to say, you know, I think I've been selling in this industry for maybe 35 years or something like that now. Um, feels like it anyway. And um, I think, you know, when you look at it, generally speaking, if all of the factories are running flat out, there is more supply than there is demand. So if all of the, you know, all of these companies are running flat out, there's more supply than demand strategically. For the last year or so, that has not been the case. The factories have struggled because of supply chain issues post-COVID and demand has been very high. So just at the moment, we're at the position where demand is exceeding our ability to supply. Um, and uh, whilst we are catching up gradually, we're still at that position where normally I'd have a load of inventory in my warehouse. You order a machine today, I'll ship it to you next week. At the moment, unfortunately, if you ordered it today, we'd probably be talking about quarter one. Um, so that's the Christmas present going then? I'm sorry, yes, <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll make a special exception for you, but uh, generally speaking, that's right, yes. So yeah, difficult times, I think. But I mean, no one better place than you to, to weave your way through those difficult times. You've got the, the, you talked about the experience that you've had, so hopefully going forward, we'll see more better times, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four next year. I, Fingers I, crossed. I agree. I, th I think uh, we've probably got a couple more quarters of this, and then hopefully things will start to get back to more normality. Brilliant. Well, we'll no doubt meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. Absolutely. But uh, great to see you and, and great good to luck. See you thank, as you. As well. okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. Okay.